Hi, my name is Fred van Dijk, recording from Rotterdam in the Netherlands. And next to me is Jacob Kahl from Bonn in Germany. And hi, Jacob. And Jacob is going to tell us more about the upcoming Beethoven Sprint 2023. It is, will be held in Bonn and he will be organizing it with his colleagues and also his chef, Timo Stollenwerk. Jacob. Yep. Hi. Yeah, nice to see Con you. Continuing a long series, the Beethoven Sprint. Exactly, yeah. I mean, I haven't been there since like the beginning, but um, yeah, I'll, I think I'll, I'll, I'll at least be there for, for a while. Yeah. Ne ne from, neither, yeah. neither have I. So I looked back a bit and I found this uh, uh, this presentation back from 2017, which as far as I can find, that's the, the first uh, Beethoven sprint uh, organized where, um, well, I, I can safely say uh, uh, what we now use in uh, Plone 6 as the default front end, Volto was kind of started uh, uh, at, at the company you now work for and I also work for part time since April in uh, uh, at Kid Concept. But the headless CMS, it was called. And I looked a bit further in the presentation of 2018. It was called Plone React. Uh, and in 2019, the third uh, uh, Beethoven sprint, uh, uh, there the name Volto pops up. And I will, I'm really curious, maybe I can dig in the heads of some people by interviewing them and asking a bit more about those early days. So we have the fourth, uh, the fourth Beethoven sprint. So tell me I a bit more. Yeah, Get I cold. think so. Probably the fourth. Um, well, yeah, I think it's the fourth now. Yeah, yeah. As, as we both noticed, um, we weren't there for the first two, I guess. Um, I only yep. joined Kid Concept in 2018, and I think rather late that year. Therefore, um, uh, yeah, uh, I had, hadn't had the, the chance to, to go to the first sprint there. Um, yeah, so everything we're going to tell you is linked on uh, plone.org on the main website. So if you go to the plone.org, uh, there's now the announcement for World Plone Day, as we will air this on Plone Day, this small talk to present the uh, sprint. But if you go absolutely. down there, there will be compute, there will be community news, latest news, latest news, community. And there it is, Beethoven scroll, Sprint. Scroll, scroll. Yeah, Click. I mean, you need a more prominent place there, I guess. Yes. But. Yeah, we can move it up, I think. After after World Plone Day, after uh, this recording, that's yeah, your contact. Sure. And here's the real website: a strategic plan sprint on Plone Six One and Seven, organized by Kit Concept. Kit Concept, tell me a little bit more uh, uh, about Kit Concept, Jacob. Um. Yeah. Well, we're, we're, we're a lovely, not that small anymore company based mostly in Bonn. So, and I I wouldn't say mostly because in Bonn we're at the moment I think only five people and the rest of us is like spread out everywhere, and um, we have quite a few like familiar faces working with us. Uh, as as Fred already mentioned, he, um, yeah, since a couple of days at time of recording, I think. Um, yes, indeed. Also him. Um, great to have you on the team. And thank you. Yeah, and we have like Timo, who's like all over the place with Plone, and you yes, might mention know Erico the team. and Victor, and plenty, plenty of more great people. You yeah. see, um, yeah, most of them, or pretty much all of them, will also attend the sprint. Um, are on 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 our participant list on the website. Um, that you can see here. Please be aware this list is is not not completely yeah, final and also not up to yeah. date yet. But as you can see, we'll have plenty of people there. Yeah. Um, also, yeah. Now that we're looking at the website, shout out to to our great sponsors, Plum Foundation, Red Turtle from Italy, and Order Web from Romania, who will send over their best guys to also. Uh, yeah, take part in the sprint. Yes, so it's indeed uh, a, it's a strategic sprint. It's sponsored by the by the Plone Foundation uh, to help uh, with some help with uh, organizing it uh, financially. Um, and let's talk a bit more about the subjects because strategic sprints uh, um, tend to do strategic sprints for, for Plone, and the Beethoven sprint hasn't been shy of I think being uh, being a strategic sprint from the beginning. Um, what is this year uh, the main topics? I think uh, from my head of my mind, it will be the next plone release, the next small uh, mi uh, minor plone release, 6.1, because we've had 6.0 uh, in December. 
Um, so what are some of the things that, uh, that uh, we yeah. already know that people will be working on? for Splint Yeah, so, so as, as you already mentioned, like Beethoven Sprint more or less is, is the birthplace of Volto. Uh, um, you uh, react front end for Plone to, to bring the Plone stack up back. Uh, well, not back, but up to date with all the latest technology. And this is also the goal for this year. To, to push Plone forward and forward and forward. Um, we're working towards the Plone 6.1 release um, that might actually happen this year. I'm not sure. What I think so. I, I think it will be is. aimed for autumn. And we'll also aim, aim even further and start working on Plone uh, 7 even, uh, which I'm not sure whether there's already a release date set or not. Um, in the end, probably it's done when it's done. Seven will be further away. Seven will be at least 2024, I think. But for yeah, any... I guess, definitely. So one of the things, um, the teaser block uh, got uh, uh, got its its way into uh, Plan 6.0. Uh, it was added to to the photo combi combining photo release of, and now I have to be very impolite because I wrote the news items myself for the, mine, for the, for the patch releases. I think it's 6.03. Also, we added uh, the, the photo, the release there was photo 618. There we had the teaser block, but there's another bigger block coming in, uh, hopefully for plan 61, but it still needs a lot of uh, love and also discussion, the container row grid block. Exactly. Um, that's something that Victor primarily, and I think also Tiberio for, for a big part, have been working on since quite a while. I'm not sure. Um, we already have a grid block, I think, as an add-on. It's not in, in, in Volto Core yet, as far as I'm aware. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, the, the grid block was, was was a great addition already to Volto because it yeah does what it says. It allows you to create grids and deviate from this standard one column layout that we have. And now the plan is to um, take that thing even further and uh, yeah, create more complex grid-like um, layouts uh, that also uh, yeah support rows and therefore make um, responsiveness way more easy. Uh, I'm not um, that I've not that been that long in the Plone community, yet, but I suppose it might be a little bit, little bit similar to Mosaic. I'm not sure, maybe French. Could yeah, well, we've had we've had a lot of uh, a lot of uh, 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 composite page editors, as as I I, I called them uh, uh, after a while. We, we did a we did a podcast uh, uh, on them. I think somewhere yeah last year where we discussed uh, four or five, and in, indeed uh, uh, Mosaic was one of them. And now Photo Photo has this this normal this this uh, uh, vertical uh, uh, storyline within the blocks layout and the block and the grid block, but also other uh, add-on blocks that have been uh, created before the last three years can allow you to go sideways or do indeed more interesting thing or insert whole grids and uh, change things there. Uh, so that's one one big topic. Um, another thing I saw coming back from Plan 6.1 is uh, the Quanta toolbar. Uh, Quanta was already is something that uh, Victor as the photo release manager already uh, presented one or two, no, two conferences ago, I think, at the first uh, discussion there was already in 2021. And yeah, he, presented, think... he, he presented much more at, at the conference in Namur. Um, and what I see now is that uh, indeed at least part of the Quanta experience, the toolbar, is also aimed to, to hopefully arrive already in Plan 6.1, which uh, needs some work. And then the big Quanta stuff, uh, uh, the whole picture, uh, will hopefully be, uh, uh, be a part of uh, Plan 7. Exactly. Um, the, yeah, yeah, as you mentioned, Quanta is the whole new theming story complete rework of, of the Plone front end theme by uh, made by Albert uh, what's his last name? Uh, Casa Casada from my heart from heart but Casado I Casado Casado, Casado. <laughs> yeah actually a, a great thing um, is that he'll actually be around for the sprint um, oh cool we, we haven't he seen him in quite a while because he's a busy person. But um, we managed for, for Beethoven's sprint because we really want to push not, not only the development side, but also like strategic planning and 
the yeah, overall layout discussion, we actually invited Irene Escudé, who also worked for, for a bit on, on Volto, as far as I'm aware, and Albert Casado, who, who was the original creator of Pastanaga UI, which is the basic theme that we use for Count In Volto. Volto. Now. Mm -hmm. And yeah, also Quanta, which is really exciting. To, to get a complete whole new theming story, way more streamlined. Yeah. In there. So then yeah. we have like like two big ones. Well, another one I I I I really uh, look look forward to is the Plum distributions. Uh, um, which we started, which we started in Innsbruck, because I think that Beethoven is like the second in year a big strategic sprint. We had the first one in Innsbruck in February, where also a lot of uh, work was already done in uh, on Volta, like the teaser block that got got merged into in the Plone Six Zero series. Um, so Plone distributions will be part of the story. Like, can we? How can we? Can we indeed create also Volto uh, distributions uh, uh, with, with uh, uh, for example, for demo sites and for other stuff set up? Can you mention some other things that people have already uh, given you information they want to work on? Um, yeah, let let me have a quick look at our our list. I think we already went over over the big points. Yeah, one. One thing that we always need to mention is sprints are not all only for development and talking, but also documentation, documentation, documentation. Steve already um, uh, yeah, added himself to, to the list of remote sprinters. And as we all know, uh, yeah, he'll do his best to kick our asses to, to get the documentation and training um, part progressed. Um, so we'll definitely plan to uh, work on that as well. Then there is um, the upcoming Google Summer of Code this year, um, where yeah, once again, that's also... um, we have quite a few projects proposed um, for Plone. And I think at the sprint, um, yeah, we'll take first steps to, to get them going. Um, I'm not sure about the deadlines and schedule there. If we'll already have like the final selection of candidates um, by the sprint, I th think so. That's very some interesting um, topic. For, uh, G for Google Summer of Code, like modernizing the data fetching API. I see here uh, now. Volto is is tied to uh, uh, to using Redux, uh, which was started exactly. from the beginning. And this is what I understand. I'm I'm not an expert here at well, but it is an alternative or a more flexible generic. Uh, uh, way uh, uh, instead of using Redux technology. Um, yeah, exactly. Um, wait a sec. What was it called? Um, yeah, I forgot oh, the name. I have to click the link. Um, and yeah, another... Me as well. But there's better stuff. Um, give me three seconds. We'll. we'll... I'll figure it out. Yes. Well, another. Uh, I'll talk about another GSOC one. Uh, indeed, uh, React moved uh, already some years ago to uh, uh, offer uh, to, to move to functional components instead of the class-based components, and that's also a Google Summer of Code uh, subject that will probably also be touched at the sprint. Um, yeah. And as you said, uh, Jacob, it's documentation, 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 but it's also documentation about our roadmap, uh, which will be another uh, important sprint topic uh, in May in the Beethoven sprint. Uh, getting a, uh, our roadmap freshed up, uh, getting uh, 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 indeed people talking about what should be in Plone 6.1, uh, should there be a Plone 6.2, or what's will, and, and indeed what you said before, Plone 7, will it be 24, 25? Um, so those things are indeed stuff that we uh, uh, we normally, it's, it's coding and it's documenting and it's designing small things, but these strategical things uh, happen at, uh, at sprints like the Beethoven sprint. Exactly. I mean, it's always like better to 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 um, take those decisions in person than yeah. um, only remote. So always lovely to, to and as we meet up as as people. And as we found out the hard way, doing this uh, these kind of discussions uh, remote only is also uh, uh, very tough. Indeed, I mean, we we ha we had almost or pretty much two years of that already. So. 
Let's... So to mention a few other topics that people want to work on, uh, there's talk about the relation control panel, which is already in the Plan 6 Classic UI one, but it's, since it is uh, a lot of control panels are automatically converted and available in the Volta front end, but if there's special uh, 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 UX yes. on, the, on, the, on the screens, you need to do extra work. So the relations control panel will need some love for that to work. Uh, people want to work on improving exactly. drag and drop support, uh, sitemaps. Uh, if you start doing really large websites, like uh, you have with some customers at, at Concept that are really large intranets, research portals, and other publication sites for really big institutions, then your sitemap uh, uh, is breaking down. So, also, I've heard. Indeed, so, that's indeed. indeed something that has to be worked on to allow uh, very large sites to have a representable uh, yeah, exactly. uh, sitemap. I mean, that's what's blown tailored for big sites, right? Yeah, that's also what we need to support. But you only find the edge cases if you start using them. Exactly. And uh, and very interesting uh, uh, topic I also saw here. Um, bum, 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 where is it? Ah, yeah, a better uh, image upload widget. Um, yeah, uh, I mean, I more or less implemented that in, in Innsbruck already. Um, based on code from Victor and to Tiberio, I think. Um, but that still needs some polishment. Uh, yeah, a little bit more love. I, cool. I have a little bit of a problem that, that I like to do stuff on sprints and then it's like 90% finished and then I get home and I don't, you know, I, you know that really you don't find the time to actually sit down again and and finish it properly. So. So thank you um, for your confession. So there are 29 other people at the sprint that know that you're going to finish that image upload widget in May. I mean, I could also just maybe <laughs> try to get it done before and surprise everyone. That's but safer. That's safer. Yeah. If yeah. So. So you mentioned remote. Uh, Steve will be uh, uh, sprinting remote. Uh, others will be sprinting remote as well. Uh, it will be very busy. Uh, uh, exactly. I, I think. Heard... I think at the time of recording, we're pretty much booked out already. Um, we have about 30 participants and are really like in a rush to somehow organize some more space around our office because uh, for those of yes. you who, are, who already have been there, uh, it's not huge. Um, it's, a fine to... it's a fine office for, for a company like a concept with also people working remote. But indeed, if you start to organize uh, and people come, then it's... And you have to find a space. I know you've done a lot of effort to search uh, for more space in the surroundings, ask uh, around at the university or other, uh, but it's really difficult uh, yeah, this yeah. time. At the moment, we, we didn't have luck with that yet. Um, current plan is because we have a lovely garden at Bonn uh, next to our office. Um, if we have good weather, we'll just do most of the sprinting outside and um, currently we're preparing like like a big tent as as a backup for yeah. the garden so that will hopefully work out um yes i've been yeah i i know i know like we we're a lovely community but does not need to get too cuddly in there no, no, no. I, I, last year, the, 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 the garden was great, but indeed we were lucky with the weather. So uh, plan indeed. B to have, a, to have a tent indeed for backup uh, sounds yeah. like a plan because then we can really uh, use the space and, and be with 30 people there. But in, yes, indeed, unfortunately, it's, it will be very difficult more. So remote sprinting is possible. And uh, knowing from your equipment and, and the motivation there, we will do our best to, to accommodate remote sprinters as much as possible. Absolutely. So, yeah, if you... If you still want to take part in the sprint and, um, yeah, want to contribute to um, to the further Cloncom uh, development, feel free, um, yeah, to to just approach me or any other of the sprint organizers, namely, yeah, Timo, um, and ask to be put on the list for remote sprinters. I think most of the remote stuff will, will happen via Discord during the sprint. Um, if there are any changes, we'll let you know in advance. Um, yeah, we'll have like uh, daily stand-ups, uh, daily wrap-ups, um, depending exactly. on for your time zone. Uh, and we'll try to have people uh, also online monitoring the channels and uh, grabbing people uh, if, if there's any, a, a question from a remote sprinter or, or the other way around. 
Indeed, indeed. My idea was maybe to pick one or two people from from the organizers team who who will yeah regularly check if everything's all right with remote sprinters so no one feels left alone somewhere. Also, um, yeah, what I wanted to mention, it's it's not really the first time that we have plenty of remote sprinters because um, I think it was the last sprint that was... Um, oh, that's true. Dual, that was last year. With, uh, ...with the people in Bucharest sprinting as well. So so we had like a double sprint in Bonn, Bu Bucharest. Yes, that's um, the Auto Web. The Auto Web office in, in Bucharest exactly. was the second one. Yes, we had it on the last TV. Now, yeah. After a yeah, while, yeah. those sprints start to. <laughs> which was that sprint? That was that sprint. It was only last yeah, year. Therefore, yeah, therefore, we already have quite some experience because yeah. when, when the sprint is completely split up between two locations, it's half remote for, for each half, anyways. Okay, so wrap up, I think. I guess so. Better of a sprint, May 18th, May, uh, May 15th, and I should be with May 15th, Monday is the traveling day, right? So there are sprint, um, fully, the full thing starts at when, at, at Tuesday, and people are, can I start so. and I mean, mingle um, and arrive on Monday. Anyone who, who, who gets there on Monday can already start, will be around at the office. Um, I'll tend so, to I, I plan to travel on Monday, but the real, the first stand okay. up and the real big planning, I think, will be then be done for on on Tuesday morning. I guess so. Yeah. 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 All right. So, to you, last words. Um, yeah, I'd, I'd, uh, usually I'd say please all come and attend, but uh, yeah, as mentioned, we are already quite packed. But please uh, join us online, and maybe we'll, we'll be the biggest sprint in Flown history. Probably not, because they're like conference sprints. But, yeah, that's yeah. hard hard to beat a conference sprint, like, for example, Van der Moer. But in each one of the strategic sprints, uh, Beethoven has been very important and will be very important. If you look now at the subjects, it's certainly something not to miss, uh, either uh, on-site, live, or uh, joining us remotely uh, uh, from May 15th to uh, May 19th. Okay, Jacob, thank you so much for presenting, for talking about the sprint, and see you there next month. Yeah, see you, th see you there. Yeah, see you next. Bye-bye. Bye. And people, have a nice World Clone Day. <laughs>